Welcome back guys. In this video I'm going to make our solar panels with our vents and battery cell into one unit in the game. But to do that we need to create an entirely new way to select objects with clicking and dragging because our current solutions do not work and I'll explain why in a sec. So we're going to make all this into one unit, we're going to make them selectable and attach our unit script to it and stuff. So how do we select units already in the game? Well the first way is to click them and in this case we can click our little robot because we've got our character controller and the mouse can interact with the character controller. We can drag to select our robot, we can either drag to the screen position but it, didn't kind, of, it kind of didn't work in the previous video so we made our own drag select object so now we can customize the point where the user can drag to select it and that worked really well with our robot but in this case with our solar farm we cannot use one point in space to select it because no matter where we put it the user is always going to select drag in an area where that where that point will not be basically so we can't use one point so what what do we do instead well i'm going to make a mesh we can make an entire mesh to surround this entire area so no matter where the user clicks whether it's on the panel the battery cell or in the empty space on the terrain the unit will be selected okay but we will not be able to see this mesh in the scene okay so that's pretty important we don't want a mesh, massive mesh to sit, to be sitting in the scene it's going to be invisible it's going to be a trigger object as well so it won't interact with uh, other units with collision detection such as our unit and that's really awesome okay so I'm going to make this a unit in this video I'm going to do the mouse click because the drag is a lot more complicated and I think the video will go on a bit longer so I'm going to just do the mouse functionality with our mesh uh, select object in this video but before I continue guys I've been up all night it's half four in the morning so I might be a bit slow in this video but you know if you want to get things done sometimes you've got to work a bit harder so um, okay let's continue there's a bit of an error in the script from the previous video because we said well if we can find the child game object then do these things if we can find the drag select game object then assign it to our drag select but the thing is guys when we say dot game object unity automatically ass assumes that this object already exists so instead of saying find child dot game object we can just say find child just call the method once and see if we can find the child then we say doesn't equal no so if the unit doesn't equal nothing then we can assign it and uh, act deactivate the selected and stuff so if unity cannot find this game object it will flag an error so let's just remove that and put doesn't equal no so I'm sorry about that guys I should have double checked in the previous video but that fixes the issue okay I'm gonna set up our unit now so I'm gonna make an empty game objects create empty and where is it gone there it is I'm gonna call this one solar farm but before I drag all the objects into this uh, game object I'm going to move it into position this is really important because we want our origin to be in a decent position if not we'd have to zero out all of these objects and then move them into place again and it's really a pain so I'm going to move this in the center of our solar farm and I'm just going to move it down onto the terrain. Let's just estimate things here, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that's cool. So then we can get our three panels. We can get our solar farm, not our solar farm, our battery cell, our battery cell model and our two vents and drag them into our solar farm. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to assign our solar farm to the unit layer there it is and here we go do we want to change the objects the child objects like our 3d models and stuff and in this case we don't even though they're a part of the unit we don't want these to be individual units and attach us a unit script to all of them we just want the solar farm parent game object to be the unit and the 3d models are just are just details of it so in this case no we just want the solar farm objects to be the unit and then we're going to get our scripts get our unit scripts drag it on and that's cool in this case our solar farm is not going to get up and grow legs and walk around our scene so we don't want it to be walkable and the rest of the stuff works out automatically and the other thing we need to do is get our selected graphic from our little robot I'm just going to duplicate it actually duplicate this and bring it over so let's just drag it into our solar farm 
and uh, a bit of an issue arises here because our box is now really thick let's just change the file clip plane to I don't know 100 maybe so as you can see it's really thick I've, I've dealt with this issue by making another material and I've called it selected five times so it's five times the area of this little one here but the thickness is the same of the box the box, thick, box thickness is exactly the same the area is just five times the size okay I'm just going to drag on this material here so just to double check things I'm just going to jump into the texture um, where is it there it is just to double check guys if in case you've missed this it's a GUI filter mode is point there's no blending and it's compressed 1024 so not very big and that is our selected and then we can just tweak it out let's just tweak out this and again we can go into a Y move it into place so let's just grab that one and see if we can move it up a little bit more and I think that I do in this case and that is our selected graphic and now the thickness of the box is kind of is very very similar to the little box and if you have really big units guys if you have a a lot of different sized units you can easily like drag this up and down to change the thickness so very very flexible you can also change the file clip plane and make more materials so not not a big problem there okay so now I'm going to make the selected mesh uh, object and uh, to do that I'm going to go to game object not create empty uh, create other cube you could go into Maya and make a complicated object that goes around the solar farm in this case I'm just going to make a cube and I'm going to put it into place and we don't want it to be too big I'm just going to rotate it a bit and I'm just going to make it a bit bigger we don't want it to stick out too much in the scene I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and I think that I do for this one I'm going to get rid of the mesh renderer so we can't see it but feel free to assign it to a new layer if you want to guys and make your main camera ignore that layer so it might, might be easier for you to manage the scene but in this case I'm just going to get rid of the mesh renderer so we can't see it and I'm also going to change it to is trigger so now it's a trigger object and um, it won't collide with our little robot here so that's awesome and this is all we need to do so this is our scene set up complete now we've got our, ah here we go, we need to rename this cube I'm going to name it to select mesh because this is the mesh we use to select the units and drag it into our solar farm so at this point in our strategy game this is the complete setup for a unit we've got our selected mesh, we've got our selected object the unit details and if you wanted to guys instead of the selected mesh we can also get the drag select if it's a small unit so very flexible solutions here so let's just dive into this, I'm going to make the click functionality in this video and to do that I'm going to make a new layer mask so let's just go to the top of our mouse script and at the bottom of our class variables I'm going to make a public layer mask and I'm going to call this one select mesh layer mask I'm going to create it straight away select mesh and I'm going to assign this layer mask to all of our this layer sorry to all of our select mesh objects so just go to layer select mesh and that's cool because when we get to the drag and maybe the click as well we'll need to use this layer we don't want raycasts and our mouse to interact with other stuff okay so like I said in this video I'm just going to do the click functionality in the next one I'll do the drag because the drag is a bit more complicated so let's just go down to where we select our units in our mouse script because <laughs> we spent a few videos coding all this in the previous videos so this is where we're going to change all our stuff well just a few things we're going to test if we've hit the selected mesh unit as well so we can say if the game object is a unit or we can make another test here if we say hit collider game object layer okay guys equals and instead of just saying the layer number or the layer index because if I jump into my layers um, each layer has a layer index and we need to refer to that index we can actually get the index based on the name we can say um, layer mask name to layer and then we can get the layer so in this case it's going to be select mesh 
So if we reassign the, the layer to another index or the index changes, this method will always get the index, the correct index. Okay. So now we've tested for two things. It said if we've clicked a unit, if we've got if we've clicked something of the unit script on it, or if we've clicked a object which has the select mesh layer assigned to it, then we can go ahead and select the object. Okay guys. But we don't want to select the the select mesh uh, object, we want to select the unit, so the parent to it. So to do this I'm going to make a new transform. I'm going to call this unit game object because at this point the hit collider could either either be the unit or the mesh select. So we need to make sure we only want to deal with the unit game object from now on. We just need to do a simple if statement. So again, if hit collider game object layer. Okay, I'm going to copy this over. Equals the layer mask select mesh. Then we can say unit game object equals hit collider transform parent transform. Okay. So we're just getting the parent object. In this case, well in all cases, it's always going to be the unit itself, the parent object to the select mesh object. That gets the unit. That's great. Else the unit game object is simply hit collider transform. Because if we don't hit the mesh the select mesh objects, we're obviously hitting a unit. So it can just be the transform. So why have we got the transform and not a game object? Because in some cases in here we've used, for example, the find child method, so it'll be easier to use a transform. And then we need we just need to replace every instance of hit collider with unit game object. So I'm just gonna replace hit because like I said, our hit collider could either be the select mesh or the game object or the unit itself. We've determined that and created a new object for our unit. Now we can just replace the hit collider with our unit object. So hit collider transform, we can replace that. Hit collider, hit collider, and a few more times down here. So not too many. Hit collider and hit collider. Okay, have we missed any out? I don't think we have. And uh, that should be it guys and now we should be able to select the unit with our mesh let's see if it works alright so I'm just scrolling over really quick clicking boom okay we might want to get rid of that rotation but because all we've done instead of using the hit uh, object directly we've checked if it's the mesh um, select mesh object if it is we just check we just store the uh, the unit object in a different in different transform object so that's all we need whistle we're doing here all right guys and uh, all the other functionality all the other things we've coded just comes into play and treats the, the object the same way okay so I'm just gonna get rid of that um, rotation thing uh, rotate or game object remove okay let's just double check Let's go over, and that is great. So, clicking on the on the battery object. Okay, you might want to make the. Let's just tweak out the select mesh. All right, guys. So, um, in your own free time, if you want to make things more detailed, you can also make a really nice um, select mesh. Make it poke up here, so you can select the uh, the battery cell. Make some I don't know templates to select the panels itself. But in this case, I'm just making it a bit higher. Okay, so it's simple as that. We've just made a mesh so we can click in the empty space if we wanted to. We can click our panels, we can click our wire, and the unit will always be selected. Okay, guys, so I'm sorry we've spent a long time in this video setting up our scene, but in the next video we'll do our drag to select it. Okay, so thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope this has helped you out, and uh, apologies once again for this little error. All fixed now. So thanks for watching, guys. A good time to finish now, 4.46, okay? Hopefully see you next video, guys. Thanks for watching.